hi my friends welcome back again I will show you today one of the most tools we are using every day in our applications either small or big applications this tool called functions or methods sometimes we hear or uh, procedure uh, with different names in a various programming language but it performs the same purposes so why we are using functions we are using it for saving time and reduce the amount of writing code and make our code reusable for many and many applications it makes our code more arrangements so because my slogan is refresh your skills so I like practice more than talking so let's get started to explain all types of functions so how it's starting with an action script 3 and saving in our application I will call it function okay save and open our action script panel I will starting writing the basic form of functions writing an action script in the reserved keyword and followed by the function name the function name its rules is the same like the variables the variable name must have no spaces not starting with numbers having alphanumeric dollar sign or underscore so all the rules that we applying on the variable name we applying on the function name so I will call it my function just to keep it descriptive and followed by braces and curly braces that's the start curly and this is the end of our curly and our code we were writing here so let's writing a simple trace statements and we'll call it hello my boo boo anything and I will control enter to test our uh, movie so there's nothing appear in the output that's because we are not call it our function to trigger its content to so our writing our function we keep the name the same like this so we'll control enter to test again yes in the output hello my pop so what if I change this f to f small getting an error to call to possibly undefined method my function that's for there is nothing called my function with an f small but when I pack it to F cap and test our movie it's working perfectly so we can trigger our functions down the function body or up to the function body it works so the function is just uh, a block of code wrapped just executed uh, between the two curly braces here so this is the first type of functions and there is another type of functions so this place is just uh, it's not putting uh, for nothing but it takes in real the arguments here uh, arguments or parameters uh, the names is uh, various but uh, it's the same so what is the arguments uh, we suppose that our functions body could uh, working with uh, numbers or strings comes from out the functions and make uh, some processes on it and uh, and uh, according to this, according to these arguments uh, the code working with it so just I will say for example that my functions is take uh, uh, two strings the name and the edge and trace it here so I 
will call it my for example an f name and it's data type the string and have an age here and the number so there is a function within the two arguments so it have rules function name two arguments so when I control enter test it so incorrect number of arguments expects two there is in two arguments you must fill it here so when I open the pre uh, here it says an F name and a string so so the name and here is an age and in the trace statement here I will change F name test our movie yes it's uh, your name is Mahmoud your age is 28 so that's the functions that working with angry arguments you must not explore the arguments data types so I will send a string here and instead of the numbers so I notice that an implicit implicit correction that you are sending a string and suppose that you the function get a data number data type so you must not uh, pay attention for the arguments data types here so the third type is a function that return a value as a so suppose you are creating a simple calculator and you are sending number two numbers and the return the summation of these numbers so how we can could return uh, the value from a function so uh, I'm changing these uh, two parameters to num one the number and num two a number and the data type will be a number so that the type of the function or a return value could be any data type so in our case uh, we will return a number so the return type here will be a number and we were writing a return reserved keyword and followed by the return value in our case num1 plus num2 so the first argument with the first number 10 and the second suppose the third 3 and control enter there is nothing so I will make in a simple trace statement control enter and for 3 so in our world we're just creating a variable and <coughs> uh, called variable called in sum the type equal to number and it's equal to the type okay I forget trace and trace to sum so the written value could be a uh, boolean so uh, just we uh, could make a comparison between these two numbers and return uh, that the number number one is greater to uh, greater to number two or not so uh, we could uh, using an f statement in our application so uh, if 